I like to develop conversations with, with my audience. What I want is you know, to kind of create a space, you know, that uh, I'm standing with my work. You know, it's, it's a good conversational piece, you know. We, we can just stand around the works and then we start talking to each other. The paper, some paper. So it's a piece about how time is embedded in uh, materials. So I was just kind of interested in this um, depreciation in the value of the newspaper. I get inspired a lot by, by what happens you know, to, to me on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. I, I enjoy teaching. I, not, I don't really just teach because you know, it's, it's, it provides me with a stable living. I teach because it's also in the genes, because my three sisters are all teachers. I think I'm able to bridge that sort of um, reality, you know, I kind of let the students know what it's like, what, it, what it's really like, you know, working as an artist. I mean, it's the, uh, you're, you're putting, you're putting your, yourself out, you know, in the public, you know, you're exhibiting, you, you have to behave in a certain way, you know, um, like, just, just as a form of self-preservation. You just uh, have to believe in yourself, uh, you have to just keep doing, um, because sometimes you might not see results right away. I, yeah, we have a very good funding system, yeah. But I don't think that's what artists should kind of work towards to, you know, to be, to, to be, to be known. At the end of the day, it's just about, you know, um, making things that you're happy with. I like to see more artists sort of venturing out of Singapore too. I mean, because we, we have such great foundations here. So to venture out and, you know, make a name for, for Singaporeans.